Hello, welcome to the Bible Health 101 show. I'm David Hester. Today we're going to talk about some of the benefits of rest. And you know, this is really important because you're not going to be able to have a healthy body if you don't get adequate amounts of rest, and that needs to be on a consistent basis, okay? Now, the optimal amount of rest is going to vary, uh, you know, from person to person. But, you know, the, the average person or somebody like me, you know, I need anything from, uh, you know, seven and a half to nine hours of sleep each night, you know. Uh, but consistency is the key, you know, because if you're getting like two hours of sleep a night during the work week and then, then you're sleeping all weekend, you know, that's not going to give you good health, okay. But there's a lot of benefits to rest, okay. You look better. You feel better, okay? Uh, you know, if, if you're, you know, regularly catching just a couple hours of sleep, that, that doesn't help you. Uh, you know, that actually uh, hinders your metabolism and it messes with your hormone production. So it, it's like, uh, you know, it give you effects like uh, like aging and, and having the, uh, the earlier stages of, of diabetes, you know? So... Uh, you know, th there's been research that shows that, that, you know, just one week of sleep deprivation can alter the body's hormones, okay? And, uh, you know, hormones are rejuvenating, okay? And, you know, without these hormones, our, you know, our muscles get flabby, uh, you know, our skin starts to sag, we look old, you know? So, we need to get proper rest in order to keep our hormones under control which will inevitably make us look better and feel better okay rest will allow us to live longer okay it, it you know it's not a secret that uh, we're getting less rest as a society than we used to okay and there's been also an alarming rise of things like high blood pressure right uh because think about it when we sleep our blood pressure levels are at their lowest okay so if you if you're sleeping less you're going to tend to have higher blood pressure okay that's what the research is showing that's called hypertension so uh you know the, the bottom line is when you have lack of sleep you're going to have an increased risk of, you know, heart attack, diabetes, and weight gain. Now, rest will also help you to be happier, okay, because there's an association between sleep deprivation and mood, okay? So if we're not getting a, a good amount of rest, then we're at a greater risk for depression, uh, you know, and, you know, that, that can that can lead to, insomnia you know it's it's a it's a crazy cycle but nobody wants to be around anybody that's moody okay um, you know getting good rest helps the functioning of our brain okay there's there's all kinds of, of you know research in that area you know we can uh, get good rest in order to lose weight Okay, uh, if, if you think about it, uh, you know, I know it might seem kind of far-fetched, but when you realize that uh, sleep slows your metabolism and at the same time it increases your appetite, uh, you know, then that means that if you're not getting, uh, you know, good sleep, then you're, you know, you're going to you can have lower levels of leptin, you know, which is which is a hormone that that tells you when you're full, you know, when you've had enough to eat, and um, you know you're gonna increase the levels of the hormone that makes you feel hungry. So, you know, think about it. Lack of sleep is not helping you to lose your weight, okay? And you know, I've I've mentioned this many times before, but. Uh, you know, we need to build muscle because that's the best way to burn fat. So, uh, there you go. And then the last thing that I'm going to mention is good adequate rest strengthens 
our immune systems, okay? Uh, sleep deprivation has been shown to compromise uh, our immune system. It's going to make us more susceptible to disease, uh, just to being sick, okay? And there's a number of things that we can do to get a good night's sleep, okay? And I'm going to talk with you about those things in a following video. So, God bless you guys. Thanks so much for listening to the Bible Health 101 show. You can visit our website at www.biblehealth101.com.